So in today's video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Microsoft have recently released something they call a motion API, which identifies emotions communicated by the facial expressions in an image. The emotion API uses world-class machine learning techniques to provide these results. So what we're going to be doing is just testing it out a little bit to see how sort of accurate it is. So as you can see, these are the sort of template image things which are here when you just load up the site. And when you hover over a face, it shows all of the emotions in that face. And basically the number next to the emotion says how much of that emotion there is in that face. So in this one, you can see she is 0% angry but more or less 99% happy. Whereas the handsome gentleman next to it is close to 91% happy with a teeny weeny bit of anger. So what we're going to do is I've got basically about 10 or so images over to my left and I'm just going to drag them on one by one and we'll see what's happening. So we'll start off with this group picture to start off with. So what it does is it detects all of the different faces and look at that it's done that perfectly. So let's hover over our friend Joe and you can see oh we've got a winner. He is a 1 for happy which means he is 1 100% happy, there's no anger, there's no content, there's no disgust in his face, no surprise, he is just one happy little fellow. So let's go next to me and see what's happening. So as you can see, I'm pretty damn happy as well, but with a tiny bit of contempt. Don't know what contempt means, let's give it a Google. Spelt it incorrectly. The feeling that a person or thing is worthless or beneath consideration. Oh, well, there, there we have it. <laughs> Let's check out Becky. She is very, very happy as well, and she's kind of neutral about the whole situation as well, which, you know, you can understand. And finally, we've got Alex, who's also happy chappy, with a little bit of neutral slipped in there just for fun. All right, slightly different image. This is me when I just baked some cookies, so I expect to see a lot of happiness in this picture. Oh! 100% happy! Oh, and it was a delicious cookie, folks. It was a delicious cookie. Right, we've got some mixed emotions in this next picture. This is from Minecon. Oh, we've got a one for happiness. See, so far, this has been pretty freaking apricot. I'm, like, genuinely impressed with this. So Martin is happy. I do not look as happy, so let's see what's happening. Oh, oh, dear. Neutral, yeah. When you look into my eyes, you do see a lot of neutral, to be fair. You can even start to see a slither of anger thrown in there just for the lols. All right, Joe looks pretty happy in this picture. Let's check it out. Yeah, he's pretty happy, but he also kind of neutral and a tiny, tiny bit surprised. Now, with Ryan over here, I'm expecting a little bit of surprise because he definitely looks surprised when I look at him, so let's have a look. Uh, yeah, we do have surprise. He is mainly neutral, however. Well, to be honest, I mean... They've basically got that bang on. That is incredible how well this works. Right, I have no idea what I would describe this face as. Let's even see if it can even, like, detect a face here. Oh, it seems to be struggling a little bit. Wait for it. Oh, he's str- Oh, zero face detected. Well, let me get that image over for you guys. This is the image that we had in question. That's a lovely picture of Joe. Uh <laughs> If that picture of Joe didn't work, let's try this one. It's another bit of a tricky one, so I'm interested to see if it'll pay off or not. Let's find out. Zero face detected. GG King Turks. There it is, the image in question. Okay, third time looking with this picture of Joe. This one, I'm hoping we should be able to see something here. Go on. Don't let me down, Emotion API. Do not let me down. Zero face detected. Absolute nightmare. There it is, folks. A lovely picture of King Turks himself. Ah! <laughs> Okay, they've got to detect this one. It's a bit more of an easier one. Come on. There we go. Oh, they've turned him sideways for some reason. Let's find out. Uh, happiness. He's very happy. And he's also a little bit scared. <laughs> Right, next I'm going to just chuck in some pizza just to see if it detects the face, because you never know. Let's find out. Surprise, surprise! Zero faces detected. You win this round, Emotion API. You win this round. Right, this is a picture of me I like to call the norm, because, as you'll see in a minute, I look like a norm. So I'd describe my face as kind of disgusted in this one, and also I expect to see some anger in there as well. There is a lot of neutral in there, but honestly, I, for this one, I did expect there to be a little bit more anger, and there's definitely a look of disgust and some contempt in there, which they have kind of got, but I just feel like the neutral is a little bit too high, really. Right, we don't have too many left now. Let's throw in this picture of Becky and I. <laughs> Zero faces! That's kind of disappointing because there is clearly two faces there. I mean, I could have seen why it would maybe not detect Becky's face there, but my one, I mean, come on, Microsoft, get your crap together. So this one is kind of interesting because his face is kind of cropped out because he's bad at taking photos, but this is my friend Ben. It's a shame there isn't a category for constipated because that's definitely what I see in this picture. Looks mainly neutral. I would have expected contempt and maybe discussed to have looked a little bit higher in this one, but never mind. Right, we've actually only got two pictures left now, so let's just check out these last two, see how it does. This is just an old picture of me brushing my... T I mean, what the hell, man, Microsoft? That is clearly my face right there. Why did that not work? And then the final picture we've got is a selfie my mum sent me after she went to the Doctor Who Museum. So I'm expecting surprise to be a high one in this picture. Let's check it out. Surprise is a 6-6. Six, six. 
And yeah, that is actually the highest one there. So overall, this emotion recognition thing is freaking incredible. Like, it's actually really, really accurate. I'm, re I'm like really impressed with it. But what I'll do is I'll leave this link right here in the description so you can check it out yourselves and you can let me know how accurate it is. And if you find any like funny ones, maybe send them to me on Twitter. My Twitter username is Jack Massey Welsh. You can click the link in the description to follow me. So yeah, this was quite interesting. I enjoyed doing this video. If you want to see more videos like this, then remember to leave a like down below so I know that people are actually interested in seeing these kind of things because I actually really enjoyed doing this. So anyway, thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Bye! Ah!